A big source of conflict in the kitchen is often over food date labels. Is that milk still good? Should you throw it out based on date labels or by taste and smell? Natural Resources Defense Council scientist and author of Waste Free Kitchen Handbook, Dana Gunders, joins us now to discuss. Welcome, Dana. Great to have you on the show. Great to be here. Thank you. So there is a lot of confusion and apparently a lot of waste over this. In general, do you think people are too quick to throw out food? Absolutely. Um, people are interpreting expiration dates to mean something that they're not. You know, those use by, sell by dates that you see on food. Many people think that means the food is bad when in fact, they're really just the manufacturer's best guess at when the product is at its peak quality. And often food can be eaten days, weeks, even months after those dates, depending on the food. Okay, let's, in fact, if you wouldn't mind, because I know a lot of people are confused about this. Can we go through those different labels and what they mean? Because there's a sell by date, a best by date, a freeze it date. So, so let's start with the sell by date. What does that mean? Sure. Well, the truth is that none of these dates are regulated. So really, it's a little bit of convention, but there's no um, standardized system behind them. Now, typically, the sell-by date is used um, as a communication between the manufacturer and the grocery store to say, hey, sell this product by this date, and your consumers will be happy with it when they get it home and they'll have a week or two or whatever the time frame is to use it once it gets home. Right. Okay. And so then the best buy date or that use by date means what? The best buy or use by date are typically um, speaking directly to the consumer and they're telling you that that's when the product is at its very best quality. Um, they're not telling you that it's bad or unsafe to eat after that date. So how do we know how many days past that date we can still eat it, though? Well, that's the question, right? Um, those really are just suggestions. And of course, it differs for different foods. But off, you know, oftentimes, our senses are very well equipped to tell us when we can eat food by. And so, for instance, with milk, um, it's safe to have it you know, five to seven days past um, that date on, and after it's opened. Um, and as long as it smells okay, it's just fine to eat. Now, I'm curious about the freeze-by date because I know a lot of people, including myself, will freeze things and just forget about them. <laughs> and they're in the freezer <laughs> forever. So how long can you really keep food in the freezer? Food in the freezer is pretty much good indefinitely. Wow. Um, you, you know, it's best to eat it within a few months because it can get freezer burned after that and it won't taste as good. So for quality reasons, it's better to eat food sooner. But most foods can last pretty much indefinitely um, in a cold freezer. It's good to know. It makes me feel a lot better. But, you know, people really are skittish, though, after all the recent food safety recalls we've seen. Do you think all of that has made this generation a little bit more afraid of food than previous generations? You know, I do. And, and that was one big reason that I wrote the Waste Free Kitchen Handbook is to give people, you know, arm them with the information they need so that they can feel comfortable in their kitchens again, you know, really get to know food. And, and it has detail on, you know, if my tomato is wrinkled, can I still eat it? Or how do I know um, if the, the yogurt has gone bad or not? So really... You're saying I think we need to get more comfortable with our food. Comfortable with our food, trust our senses a little bit more. But before we let you go, tell us what is the main reason food can make you sick and how can we prevent this? The main reason food makes you sick is actually contamination. So things like E. coli, salmonella, those are pathogens that get on the food on, in the farm or the processing plant. And um, food does not make you sick because, just because it's old. The best way to avoid getting a foodborne illness from food is to practice safe food handling techniques. So don't leave food in your hot car after you go grocery shopping. Be sure to um, keep raw meats and anything that touches raw meats away from foods like vegetables that might be eaten raw and um, other safe handling practices that can be seen you know, online on, on the CDC website or, or elsewhere. Thank you, Dana Gunders, for all that practical advice. You've made me feel a lot better about what's in my refrigerator. Thank you for that.